welcome or welcome back for another video. Before I start this video, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to all of you who's watching my videos. I've gotten some really nice comments lately and it makes me so happy. I also wanted to apologize because this video was supposed to be up on my channel yesterday, but I just haven't had any time to film this video because of school, so it's one day late, so I apologize for that. But now on to the video. Today we can finally say that it's almost summer. This means that we can go to the beach, go swimming, exercise, draw, learn new skills and do so much more. It's a time where we, in most cases, don't have to work or go to school as much as usual. So we can rest and have more time to do things that we like to do. However, it's also really easy when you lose your routine that you don't know what you want to do anymore. All the days look the same and you'll probably find yourself laying in bed way too long. Therefore, when you look back at, on your summer holidays, you won't have so many memories to take with you. Today, I'm therefore sharing with you a few tips on how to have a productive summer so you are sure that you will get things done. My first tip is to set some basic goals for your summer. It doesn't have to be much, but by doing this you will reflect on what you actually want to accomplish this summer. Do you want to read more to improve your vocabulary and writing? Maybe learn to play an instrument or maybe learn a foreign language? It can also be much more simple things like eat breakfast outside when the weather is good. In Sweden most students don't have any homework over summer, but I do know a lot of different countries do have it. Therefore my second tip is to make sure that you do your homework as soon as possible. This way you will be able to fully relax for the rest of the summer without having the task in the back of your mind all the time. Also, you won't have to feel stressed at the end of the summer because you suddenly remember that you have homework to do. My third tip is to rest. Summer is the time of the year when you can charge your battery. Do things that you feel like doing or actually have to do and then take your time to relax. If this is exercise, that's great, but it can also be to just draw or hang out with your friends as long as you keep distance between you. If you are like me and want to learn new stuff, summer is a great opportunity to do some extra studies, either for the next school year or if you just want to learn something new. I know there are a lot of different classes online right now, so it can be fun to go online and see if you find something that may interest you. My fourth tip is to make a bucket list. This is pretty similar to when you make a goal list, but here you write down everything that you might want to do this summer. By doing this, you can always look back on your list when you're bored someday or don't know what you want to do. You can also check off the things that you have done and get a feeling that you have accomplished something. Something that I know I will write down on my bucket list is to read more English books and the two last books of the Harry Potter series. This way I will improve my vocabulary and writing and continue to have a high grade in English. I'm also writing down to start a new bullet journal which I will do a video on in a few weeks and I also want to meet some of my old classmates that I haven't seen in a year. However, you don't have to write down big stuff. You can just write down eat breakfast outside or go to the beach if that is what you want to do. If you feel like it, my fifth tip is to declutter and organize your room or school supplies. It's always nice when a new school year begins to have everything organized so you will find what you need. However, only do this if you feel like it. Remember, the summer is a time for you to recharge your battery with new energy for the upcoming year. My sixth and final tip is to keep a summer journal. First of all, if you every day write down what you have done, you can read your journal in the future and remember wonderful memories. Secondly, you will feel like you have to do something every day, so you have something to write down. This is a great way to make sure that you are doing something this summer, even if it's just the smallest things. I hope you all will have a great summer and that you find some of the tips helpful for you. In a few seconds, I will do a flip through of all of the spreads that I have shown you now and done. So feel free to copy and stay till the very end. And don't forget to leave a thumb up and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the video. Bye!